FL adrafinil versus for fluoromodafinil versus for chloromodafinil. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do kind of like a little bit of an update video on my experience taking the Afinals. Now I have not taken every single kind, but um, I did have a lot of experience with the original FL Adrafinil. And then I did basically a first impression for fluoromodafinil. And then I also did a video on for chloromodafinil. Now those were kind of like my first impressions with it. And it's actually changed quite a bit. I feel like I'm going to get even more of a pin down opinion as time kind of goes on. But I kind of wanted to give you guys an update because I have definitely switched up some of my opinions. So real quick on the FL Adrafinil. Now this is the first one that I ever tried. I was actually pretty impressed with it. It's basically like a Adrafinil with two fluoro atoms. Like it has been studied before. It's actually pretty easy to find online. Modafinil itself lasts for like 12 to 14 hours. So the problem I had with FL Adrafinil is that, you know, when something lasts 12 to 14 hours, like I don't really want to take time for it to convert. That's what happens with FL Adrafinil. So although I really liked it, if it was the only thing I had, I'd probably use it every now and again, but it was just a little bit weird. And then on top of that, um, for some reason, I felt like it just a little bit dull. Um, for like a day, two or three after taking the FL Adrafinil. Now, again, I probably will go back at some point and try it again, but I just so much more prefer the 4-chloromodafinil and the 4-fluoromodafinil that I really don't know if or when I'm ever gonna use it because I just, it just seems completely inferior if you have um, both of the other versions. So as far as for fluoromodafinil now, it's much closer to the original modafinil. It's like one fluoro atom versus FL adrafinil has two fluoro atoms. And you know, the original modafinil and adrafinil, they both don't have fluoro. So for me, I just kind of want to get closer to the original compound. So for fluoromodafinil, so much closer. And I gotta say, I've really enjoyed it. When I first took it, I think I took it at about three thirty milligram scoops so it comes out to about 90 milligrams and it was pretty strong at that point especially in my first testing things like that I was kind of going through a little bit of a weird period I'm much much more balanced now so I did really really enjoy it it felt very good however I think I've tried uh, four fluoromodafinil like two times at 100 milligrams and then once at either a one scoop or a 30. And I really do like 4-fluoromodafinil. Like you, you feel it a lot quicker, but it definitely seems a little bit more mild or a little bit more transparent to me personally uh, compared to 4-chloromodafinil, which I'm about to be talking to right now. And again, I do want to say that I've never taken the original modafinil, so I can't really compare any of these to the original, but there's a very similar feeling from all these. So I could guess that the original modafinil it's got to be somewhere in between um, the way that all of these feel. So I just want to put that out there. And then on top of that, these supplements are a lot, supposed to be a little bit stronger than the original modafinil. So if you're trying to equal a 200 milligram modafinil or a 100 milligram modafinil, you should probably do a little bit of a lower dose. So now jumping into the four chloromodafinil, which has now become the absolute winner in my mind. So it's actually kind of funny because when I listed the four fluoromodafinil, I went on that eBay seller, the guy that I listed, and I think you guys bought about 10, maybe 12 versions of the 4-fluoromodafinil because the 4-fluoro is much, much more researched. It's kind of like very few people, if any, are talking about the chloro version. And it's kind of like, if you have something that hasn't been studied, let's kind of go towards something that has been studied, you know? So I did a little review on the 4-chloromodafinil and I think only one person bought it. So we'll see if things switch up after this review because 4-chloromodafinil for me is definitely my favorite. I'm just kind of going by like my body when I want to take an afinil like I'm definitely not going to take FL Adrafinil. For fluoro, I don't know what it is. It's better than FL Adrafinil for sure, but I just don't want to reach for it. I have no idea why versus the four chloro. The four chloro is just so much more potent in my opinion. It's so much more of a stimulant. Um, I've had a, a kind of a suspicion that things that have the extra fluoro atom kind of make you a little bit more dull. And if you look at um, FL Adrafinil, that's what they will say is that it kind of is a little bit more of an anti-anxiety. To me, I felt a little bit more dull, but I would also categorize that as anti-anxiety because I do, don't feel as jolty. So I feel like the chloro version, it just is just much more of a punch. Now I've taken the chloro version the most. The most I've ever taken is about 60 milligrams. And I feel like 60 milligrams feels about the same as 90 milligrams of 4-fluoro. I've probably taken the 4-chloro four, four or five times, you know what I mean? And every single time it's 
it's what I'm looking for when I'm trying to find an afinal. And I'll be actually very interested to see how it would you know, compare to the original modafinil. And they also have um, a modafinil with two chloros. Now, I'm not really super hyped to try it. I'm almost curious to see if, how it feels, but at the same time, I just think I'm gonna like the four chloro version more, which is only chloroed once. So it's much more closer to the original modafinil. So I do wanna say that a lot of pharmaceuticals have this chloro version, right? Um, I think it's like 85%. And I don't know if you guys have heard, I think it's sucralose and sucralose is essentially um, just sugar with added chloro atoms to it. So, I mean, it is used quite a bit here, but I did find it interesting that you have like amphetamine, right? And it's actually pretty common to use the 4-fluoroamphetamine and there's also 4-fluoromethamphetamine, things like that. So it exists out there. Obviously, it's really, really hard to find. You probably won't find it very easy and it might not even be real, so be careful. But then they have 4-chloroamphetamine and 4-chloroamphetamine is like a, like a neurotoxin. Like they use it to like like shut down neurons in your brain because it just kind of destroys them. I found that that was kind of a little bit scary because you're looking at this 4-chloromodafinil that hasn't been studied. You know, the 4-chloroamphetamine like literally shuts down your brain, but normal amphetamine doesn't really do that. I mean, obviously if you took too much, it would, but you know, it doesn't really have that property. So I was a little bit wary about that, but I can say from taking as much as I have, I really don't have very many side effects at all. I really honestly don't even feel tired the next day. However, if I do take it two or three days in a row, I do, I will feel tired when I stop taking it. And that's kind of like one thing that sucks because once you're kind of tired from the modafinil, there's nothing really that's gonna bring you back. I mean, even phenylparacetam, you'd have to take it every 90 minutes because as soon as it goes away, you don't feel it. But anyways, guys, I just wanna put my two cents on that four chloromodafinil is 100% where it's at. It's actually $8 cheaper. Um, for the same amount of powder versus the floral version. So it's more potent to me. I like it better and it's cheaper. And I almost regret saying this because I feel like you guys are gonna buy, buy, buy it up and it's, um, it's probably just gonna go away. But to be honest, that is 100% what I like. I love the four chloro. If I had to, I would go with the four fluoro. And then one of these times in a blue moon, I will redo the FL Adrafinil. And I also found it kind of interesting. I was looking up the price of Modafinil and it's about $8 for one pill. That freaking blew me away. So, I mean, even almost on a price point, like if you even had a prescription to modafinil, this this is almost like on some other countries, modafinil is unregulated as well. So they're probably just raking a lot more out of us for that $8 a pill. So anyways, guys, I just wanna pop on here real quick saying that I really do like the four chloro modafinil. It lasts a long time. Don't have too many side effects. I know modafinil is supposed to give you headaches and a few times on the four chloro, I felt like a headache was coming but it never actually came. So that's what she said. You know, and I'm somebody who's actually prone to migraines. And on top of that, the times that I was taking the modafinil, sometimes I'd be staring at a screen all day or I'd be inside. Both of those um, cause headaches for me. And I never really had a full on headache. I felt like it was about to come on, but never had any problems. And again, I'm somebody who's very, very sensitive to headaches and I get migraines, so I didn't really have that issue. So anyways, guys, enough of the afinil rant. Let me know what you think of all these afinils. I'll be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace